all right so hello everyone um in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to fade videos to black using the power director app for android um, officially power director doesn't have a way to do this but um we're going to be having a walk around because we always try to look for solutions to every problem so with that said let's begin so we have um two clips here this is a clip of the globe the first clip and the second clip is of this dog which i've been using for many videos now and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to like um, fade this video in like it starts as a black video and then it becomes transparent and then in the middle I'm going to make this part black and then before it gets to this dog it starts fading in and in the end I'm going to fade out to black I don't know if that makes any sense but uh, let's just begin <laughs> alright so the first thing you want to do is tap this um, option to create a black background so tap it and then tap picture now tap color board and then tap black now you can drag or just press the plus button and it automatically get uh, inserted into the video and then tap back twice right so the black background is here now and uh, what i'm going to do next is uh, increase the size of it so it covers the whole video most transitions are around three seconds so I'm going to cut this um, black video at 3 seconds. I'm going to zoom in a bit and uh, start scrolling until it gets to 3 seconds. Alright, so this is 3 seconds. Tap the video, split it, and then delete this part. Now we only have this one at 3 seconds. And this is where the magic begins. So, alright, the next thing you're going to do now is just tap the video and then tap opacity. Now you guys know what opacity is. It just controls the transparency of the video. But what we want to do now is um, animate the transparency so you move a bit to where it says 0 0.1 um, and then tap this diamond to create a keyframe then move to the end to where it's on 2.9 then tap the diamond again and then um, at this point or at this first diamond you want the screen to be completely black that is opaque if i actually know the right word then at this point you want the black video to be completely transparent so transparent means it shouldn't be 100 but um, zero this is going to create an animation you can see the slider moving on its own so it's saying as the video progresses it should adjust itself and then um, try to meet up with this keyframe at the value I set the transparency to so it gives you this um, fade to black or fade to transparent effect all right so i hope that was a bit clear to you guys uh i'm not the best teacher but i try to make things simple enough anyways so i'm going to skip this part because it's a bit complicated if you have never used keyframes before it's going to be very you'll be like what is going on so let's just come over to the end and um, for this part i want the video to fade to black so what i'm going to do now is since we already have this one i'm going to duplicate it I just tapped it now I'm going to tap duplicate and I'm going to drag it to the end of the video all right so I think we're okay now now this one already has the properties of um, the previous one so which means you may be watching the video and it just goes to black and you'll be like oh, is it over yet and the next thing it comes back so we have to fix that just tap the video tap opacity and then this time here should be zero and then um, here will be 100 and that's all so we can watch it and see what it looks like so we just successfully created the fading and out to black now i want to create a transition between this video of the globe and um, the video of the dog using the transitions now you can do the really smart thing of just duplicating these two duplicate this one and duplicate this one and then just merge them here let's try it and see what it looks like yeah it doesn't work or maybe i should reverse it Yeah, you can use this method which i just found out now but uh, that's not what i want to use so i'm going to delete them now and 
show you the right way to do it. Now we want the video to go from transparent and then to black and then from black to transparent like you saw in the preview that I just did which I didn't even know I could do just came to me anyway so what we're going to do now is create start the opacity create a new keyframe and moving a bit to the create a new keyframe make it zero create another one make it a hundred and then this time you create another one also make it a hundred then move in a bit and then create the last one and make it zero and uh, that will be all you successfully created the crossfade between two videos all right so if you found the video helpful please give it a thumbs up and um if you have any questions or you're confused about uh, keyframes please just do more research but then um, you can ask me questions if you have any if you haven't subscribed already please do and um, i'll be seeing you guys in the next video all right stay safe and um, bye bye